All right, we have quite the haul video today. I'm very excited about all of this. First things first, this is a package from a viewers who we ended up kind of shipping some things back and forth to each other, but there's some interesting stuff in there. Um, we've got a bunch of parts from Bricklink. Um, I'm going to be building a few more mocks from Hauling Bricks, and you may recognize that name because I built his Octane Transfer Station and mentioned that in a few videos already. But I highly recommend checking out the Rebrickable page and also the Instagram. I, I just love these mocks so much. So I, I purchased a few more instructions, uh, built them up in studio, uh, copy and pasted a couple because I wanted to build multiples. <laughs> um, I especially like the uh, forklift build and that uh, set of instructions is free actually on, on this Rebrickable. Uh, so all that will be linked in the description below. Um, so once I had that wanted list, um, I pulled all the parts out that I already had in my collection. Um, these parts are actually for a new locomotive I'm going to be building today. So we've got that going too. Um, this is everything except for one package that is, has not updated the tracking in over a week. So hopefully it gets here eventually. It's, it's a hundred dollar order. There's like 600 parts. It's, <laughs> it's uh, going to be critical to building all this, but I'm just going to have to wait for it to get here. Uh, but for now, uh, let's get started on all of this. Okay, so we're going to start with this one. Again, this is a package from a viewer. Um, it feels quite hefty. <laughs> There's uh, a good bit in here, I guess. So let's see what we got. So like I said, I don't even know what all's in here. Um, I know some things, but not everything. Oh, very good. Okay, so uh, we've got some more train doors. Um, see, some of these I already have, like, singles of. Um, so, oh yeah, Hogwarts. Um I'm always interested to find more doors and maybe I can complete a couple pairs. They're, they're like socks. They get <laughs> separated from each other. Uh, oh, we got more train wheels. Uh, one of the red ones. I have a few red ones. I have more of the black ones. Um, but as I start using them more, I'll, I'll need more. Oh, okay. We got some train buffer pieces here. Um, ooh, and complete with magnets. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, these magnets are getting pretty expensive, um, so this is this is great. Um, I'm not really sure why some had this little guy that would hang down. I don't know if that's for like a decoupling mechanism, or maybe it could be used for that. Um, I'm not really sure. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> this is a battery box. Um... I uh, don't know how this opens. Okay, just like that. Oh, this is, yeah, this is great. I don't see any battery corrosion or anything like that. Um, yeah, that looks just fine. So that's very good. I have some uh, 4.5 volt train stuff upstairs, but nothing complete. And I never had one of these guys. So that that's really great. Um, let's see. Oh, we got some 9 volt track. Um, so, yeah, these are all 9 volt curves. Uh, well, we got one straight in there. Um, yeah, these look pretty good. Very nice. Always can use as many of these as possible. <laughs> uh, let's see. We got some wheels for 4.5 volt trains. Um, we got a bunch of supports here. And various colors um so yeah these will be very useful i'm trying to pick these up when i can so yeah we've got a good good mix there uh, we got a train base uh looks like a 24 stud length uh from the nine volt era from the uh cutouts there and look at this we got some 4.5 volt uh track so yeah we got some of the sleepers there um, all the ones I can see, they look good. Those are very easy to break, these little clips and everything. Um, I have a fair bit of 4.5 volt track upstairs. It needs to be cleaned. It's extremely dirty. Um, I just haven't got around to it, but I, I, I want to have at least one 4.5 volt train. I think that'd be really cool. I'd like to build a huge layout with like one of every train, <laughs> you know, nine volt, 12 volt power functions powered up, uh, just, you know, kind of one of each. I think that'd be really cool. Okay, now we've got a, I didn't have this train base. I'm not even sure what era this is from, but uh, yeah, we've even got the magnet on there. We've got <laughs> an absolute ton 
of plates. Um, they just had a bunch of plates. Oh, yeah, we got the big 16 by 16s, um, some 6 by 16s. Um, you know, pretty much anything in light bluish gray, dark bluish gray, or black, I end up using quite a lot of. Uh, and then we got some more of these guys with the kind of grill plate. Um, so this is great. That I'm always ordering these. You, you see them. <laughs> Uh, ordering that stuff. Uh, yeah, we got a 4.5 volt motor. Very good. And then we've got uh, some of the road uh, track pieces. Um, okay, so that's it for the box. Um, these I, I would probably end up using for uh, GBC or something like that. Uh, so we've got like the, this is a ramp that goes down we get straight curves uh, and a Y connector so that's that's really cool I have a couple pieces um, I want to say I had like four but uh, I, I'd love to pick up some some more of these to do something cool with it so this is great this is gonna help quite a lot um, so I'm very much appreciate it okay so this one um, is not Lego but it will be used with Lego um, this is, um, this should be comparable to the Bentech Go Wire. This is actually from AliExpress, so this is much cheaper. Um, and I imagine they may ship to a few more places than um, Amazon would. I've heard plenty of people say they can't find the Bentech Go Wire where they're from. Um, holding this, and, and I mean, this, it feels exactly the same. So this is a, a silicone insulation um, so i have to do some testing with that again i'm planning on making another wire repair video soon um, so this will be definitely be a part of it to see how viable this is as a alternative to the bn tech go wire which is which is pretty expensive and again hard to find for some folks yeah this guy there's a real train going by and they're just laying on the horn um, i don't know how much that's going to come through I'm, I'm i've given up at this point um, with the background noise, there's um, cicadas and crickets and just all and trains and cars and it's it's getting really annoying. Um, I will literally like stop talking with my hands frozen for 30 seconds to wait for some really loud thing to to finish. It's it's an, it's really annoying. Uh, maybe I can do some kind of soundproofing or something. Oh yes. So. Well, these look pretty rough. <laughs> um, I mean, just discolored. The contacts, I guess, look okay. They're a little corroded, but it is what it is. I can always use these internally on something if I wanted them to, to look good. Um, we got a couple train buffers. These are the ones with the snow plow um, sealed magnets. Um, a couple of these electric plates. Um, the headlights I needed for the locomotive I'm building and energy crystal has been found and a 9 volt motor so this is my first 9 volt motor with a broken pin um, I'm not going to worry about repairing this because the build I'm building is a kind of a shunter um, it's not actually going to use that pin anyway so I'm not worried about it at all um, I think it was maybe forty dollars. It it wasn't too bad. It, you know, it was a little bit discounted because of the the broken pin. Okay, now we have this one. Again, I don't even know which ones are are which here. These have been coming in over the past week. Um, yes. So these are parts for the locomotive. So we've got doors and the window pieces for them. These look great. Um, I wasn't even expecting them to look that good. This is the kind of windshield piece for it. Uh, I believe this set had the, it had like a white maybe sticker or something on there, but I wasn't that worried about it. Uh, and then just a couple of other pieces that go with that build. All right, so we got a big one here. Um, let's see what we got.
Okay, um, so I got a bunch of these in case I wanted to build a octane tanker truck. So one has the stickers on it and the others are just the blank pieces. I have some of these already, but many of them are discolored or at least dirty. Um, <laughs> I got a bunch of these rock pieces. Um, I guess I didn't mention I'm building a little mine train. It's from an official set. Um, so we'll, we'll see that at the conclusion of the video. Yes. Um, so yeah, I needed these train windows for that train build. Um, again, they had a couple octane things. So this is actually the same door. Um, they're both the same side. So I need to try to find the other door. Um, another little octane printed brick. Um, octane printed brick. A um, bunch of fence pieces. These look really good. These all look matched together. They don't look super yellowed or anything like that. So that's great. I've been stocking up on, on fence pieces. <laughs> um, they had a time twisters dish. Um, just some 2x3 black plates. Needed those. Um, some light bluish gray plates. They kind of. No, it's light bluish gray. Yeah, okay. Um, and a bunch of pieces here. So we got some wheels for some of the builds I'm doing. Um, yeah, these are for the forklift. Um, some kind of panels. Um, and then these guys are for the the little mine train build, but I also thought these would be useful. I've seen people build like uh, various freight wagons that, that use those. Um, yeah, this <laughs> one of these does not look like the other. This is way different of a color than... Uh, the others, but I, I should be fine. I should have at least one of those in my collection. Okay, so this package is one of the largest in this haul, um, along with the one that I'm still waiting on to be delivered. Uh, let's try to get this opened up here. Okay. <laughs> Um, so this was from Brick Fans. Um, did a good job of getting it here quick, and it looks like everything's there, and all the pieces look good. I don't see any discoloration. So there's an absolute ton of stuff here, but uh, we've got a bunch of windshield pieces. Um, as I was going through buying these parts, I just kept upping the quantities on anything I was getting because uh, this stuff always comes into in handy later. <laughs> um, so these are pieces for the... Um, forklift so it's actually a different version than was in the instructions it's the one with the rubber band holder and it needs to be cleaned but um so that's that where are the forks Oh, here they are. <laughs> um, so these are the kind of, I don't know what, roll cage? What do you want to call that um, for the forklifts? Come on, focus. And uh, the forks for the forklift. Uh, so they should just slide into these. Yeah, I guess there's not really much here that really stands out, um, but just, this is all the pieces I needed. <laughs> so I, I think they did a really good job with this. Um, not every piece is in its own bag, and I don't expect that from people. Um, you know, throwing a, a few together that are easy to pick apart from each other. Um, th I'm, I'm fine with this, absolutely. So I guess I can uh, start building what I can, but like I said, I'm waiting on that other big order. And it should be some here sometime next week, so <laughs> we'll see you then. <laughs> All right, well, it's a few days later. This package finally came. I'm not sure if it was the post office or what. The label was printed 11 a.m. on Monday, and the tracking wasn't updated until Thursday at, like, 1 a.m. I, I have no idea what happened there, if it just took them forever to get it dropped off but then it doesn't explain why it didn't get scanned for 
four days. I don't know. Um, but <laughs> it is here, finally. Um, it sounds pretty loose. No, okay, it's at least in one bag. Well, okay, I'm not going to be able to really show <laughs> a whole lot in here. Uh, there's some bags, but uh, yeah, we've got just all kind of stuff. Some, oh yeah, do you get some uh, bogey plates? Always pick up those. Oh, and yeah, some train bases. What happened is I was trying to get over, I think, 100 bucks for free shipping. <laughs> uh, so I did that. Um, but yeah, there's just a bunch of parts uh, that are going to go to all these trucks that I'm building. Yeah, just a bunch of parts. So <laughs> uh, at this point, I'm going to take this upstairs, get all these built, and then I'll be able to show them all off. So we'll see you on the other side. All right, well, here's all the builds. Um, everything except for uh, the two train builds, again, is from Hauling Bricks. These are his mocks. Uh, I will link the Rebrickable and Instagram accounts below. And like I said, the uh, these little forklift guys, this is uh, free instructions that you can download. Um, the others, I think the trucks were like a few bucks each, like $4. Like, it's not much at all. Uh, so they're very fairly priced and even the builds like just the parts usage um, it wasn't too hard to part these together um, there wasn't a bunch of really weird or unique uh, kind of parts <laughs> um, like I said the forklifts I use the rubber band version um, these are definitely not the correct rubber bands um, <laughs> and uh, that's why this is the only one holding a pallet because they are a bit heavy um, so like these uh, with the rubber band, they're just going to tip over, <laughs> uh, which is fine. Uh, but I'll show you, this is a forklift. I believe it's from a train set, um, but uh, this is how it works. And that's the correct rubber band on there. Uh, so I need to try to order some of those for the others. Uh, so they'll work a little bit better. Um, so yeah, we've got this uh, truck here. Um, pretty much it's 100 percent to the instructions i think i used different um hinges here and there was like one of these uh rounded one by two plates i had to use a different color something like that um and then we've got the semi truck here with all the different uh pallets in the back and i i just think they look so great so i can't wait to try to build more octane stuff and then be able to have the trucks uh, there. I think it'll look really good. Um, again, this is a, from the, I think the Loden Hall Railroad. Um, the main difference is one, the buffers. I use modern style buffers. And this top part here is originally in light gray. Uh, I was gonna use light bluish gray and realize that this uh, slope piece here in light bluish gray is like 20 bucks. <laughs> uh, so I quickly gave up on that. Um, I tried light gray, um, but see you've got a four by four plate here and you've got the slope bricks here and a one by two. I could not find these in light gray that all matched each other. It just looked awful. Um, so I just put a black roof on for now. I think it looks fine. You know, who's going <laughs> to, am I going to get called out on this in the comments? Well, probably. Um, and then inside, um, normally you would have a little engine build. But since uh, both of the lights in the front and there's another set in the back here are actually lit. Um, let's see if I open up the door here. Uh, you can see the nine volt lamp there. Um, it was a bit of a trick to get it done. Um, there's a cable inside here that goes from the motor to the front and then a plate underneath each of the, uh, the lights. Um, so yeah, there's the cables a little bit coiled up in there and it just comes out there to, to the front. Uh, so I didn't have to build the stuff internally, even though I did order the parts to do that. <laughs> Um, and then also I'm, I'm ordering a uh, red light prism to go in the back here because uh, I think that'll look a bit better. Um, this is the is from the set The Mine. I had never even heard of this set. And, and when, when I was looking for parts, um, I'm always on Bricklink and I'll say, okay, what part does this set or what sets does this part come in? 
And this set just kept showing up. Uh, the, I think it's 4214 The Mine. And then I was just kind of intrigued. So I clicked on it and it's got a build. It's basically just, I think it's just one car. Um, but I wanted to build it and I built it with three cars. Um, and it runs on the narrow gauge track. Um, so the only official narrow gauge track is these corner pieces. Uh, and then there's a ramp piece, which you pretty much never see used because it's not, it's too steep. Um, <laughs> but the rest of this is tricks bricks. Um, so like this uh, straight section here and the uh, switch track here. Um, but yeah, it rolls over it just fine. I think it's super cute. Probably too small to motorize. But I could still use this in a build somewhere just as a static model. Um, but I just thought it was really cool. It wasn't very expensive to part it together. Uh, so I threw that in with the rest of this. So yeah, another successful haul video. Um, I'm loving these builds. I can't wait to integrate them into larger builds and layouts. And if you want to talk about this kind of stuff, uh, feel free to join our Discord server. It's been very active lately. I've actually had a hard time kind of keeping up, but <laughs> uh, we're just talking about Lego trains and Lego builds and other stuff, computers and computer games and whatever else. Uh, but it's been an absolute blast. And if you want to help support the channel, we do have channel memberships and you can see videos early without ads, get your comment in there first, all that kind of stuff. So yeah, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one.